بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب ايمان بالله believing in Allah azza wa jal having correct knowledge of tawhid of who he is and actualizing that tawhid by tawhid al ibada or tawhid al uluhiyah as it's known as well to sing Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone in worship is azim and in fact it's the greatest deed the greatest deed that you can do is believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is iman billah and a part of that iman billah is that tawhid we're talking about is tawhid al rububiyyah the lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone tawhid al uluhiyah that all your worship goes and is directed to Allah azza wa jal wa tawhid al asma'i wa sifat meaning the divine names and attributes of Allah azza wa jal that they are unique to him subhana and that his characteristics his divine characteristics or as he subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed them and how the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed them and as it was revealed in the book of Allah azza wa jal the Quran and the authentic sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ahl sunnah we believe that so iman billah is the best deed وَأَعْظَمْ مَا أَمَرَ اللَّهُ بِهِ يَتَوْحِيد As Shaykh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab rahimahullah ta'ala said, he said that the greatest thing that we were commanded with is tawheed. It's worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنُ وَالْإِنْتِلَ لِعَبُدُونَ I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَعَبُدُ اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِي شَيْن Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with Him. And in order to worship Allah azza wa jal, you need iman bi. You need to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need to know who He is. You need ilm. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, then know, so he's ordering us with knowledge. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَى اللَّهُ So know that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and seek forgiveness for your sins. All of that is evidence from the Qur'an that our purpose is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and that iman billah is an obligation and the greatest obligation upon us. Imam Nisa'i said fi sunanihi dhikru afdal al-a'mal. He said in what could be translated as the t- chapter mentioning the best of deeds. Qal أخبرنا أبو عبد الرحمن أحمد بن شعيب من لفظه قال أخبرنا عامر بن علي قال حدثنا عبد الرحمن قال حدثنا إبراهيم بن سعد عن زهري عن سعيد بن مصيب عن أبي هريرة عن النبي أنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سئل أي الأعمال أفضل قال إيمان بالله ورسوله إن حديث في أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه and it was narrated by him رضي الله تعالى عنه that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم was asked which deed is best he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, faith in Allah and His Messenger. Iman Billah 
Warasulihi. He said that the best deed is belief in Allah and His Messenger. In the commentary of this hadith, it mentions this faith is the root of action without which the tree of faith in Islam cannot be visualized at all. And without it, no good action gives any benefit, meaning that you have to have uh, Iman Billah, because no matter how, many, how much charity you give, how many good actions that you perform, without Iman Billah, it won't be accepted. That's why we say those people who were great, known for their kindness, known for their uh, prestige and their status, known for such and such and such and such, for being the great peacemaker. Look at Nelson Mandela. Look at all, all, all these people who did many good things in the cause of humanity and striving for human rights and recognition. But the only benefit that comes about with any of that in, in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal, in the hereafter, is if it's accompanied by Iman, Iman Billah, that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, you know who Allah is, you, act, you actualize tahakkik al tawheed, that you actualize tawheed and manifest tawheed on your limbs iman billah believing in allah azza wa jal in your heart in your limbs your actions your statements of the tongue because all of those are the components of iman and then it was mentioned when this face exists one's entrance into paradise is absolute or after undergo, undergoing punishment, letting us know that, of course, Ahli Iman, which is well known to Ahli Sunnah, that, for example, if someone, a Muslim, dies doing sin, doing major sins, we say that they're under their tahta mashiyatillah, that they're at the disposal of Allah Azza wa Jal, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes, He will punish them. If he wishes to pardon them, he will pardon them, subhanah. Out of his divine hikmah and his mercy and his favor. Also in this narration, it shows us that faith has been stipulated as action. This corroborates a statement that actions are a part of faith. And as we mentioned, Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah believes as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam affirmed for us in many a hadith that iman this iman that we say is the best deed here alhamdulillah is comprised of faith in the heart you know this belief actions of the limbs and the tongue all of that makes up iman and that's why Iman Billah wa Rasuli Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best of deeds. And we ask Allah the Almighty <coughs> to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahli Iman, Ahli Tawheed, Ahli Fiqh, Ahli Wara. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.